Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm over here in Aktau, Kazakhstan. I'm over here by the Caspian Sea. It's real beautiful. I just landed about a day and a half ago. So come with me as I tell you about my immigration experience. And uh, let's, let's check out some of the scenery. So as you can see here, my right shoe is wet, left one dry. I uh, try to jump a little small river thing that way. And then I step into the murky water. But it seems like it's uh, cleaner once you get out there. But right by the edge, it's a little dirty. So I'm going uh, to dry my sock and shoe out. Just give me like five minutes. Yeah, then we'll get back on the road. So as I'm walking along the coast over here, I see a real nice wooden bench. Convenient for you guys to take a break when you're hiking along slash walking along this area. And then up there, I just seen a cat climb up this entire little ridge to go up to the top part where the residential buildings are. And as a human, I don't think I should risk it. There's even a sign that says, uh, don't do that or don't break. I'm not sure, but the picture is a man kicking some wood or falling. <laughs> but I mean, it's pretty nice. Let's keep moving. Just came across some wild looking cotton thing. Oh, and there's some nice insects in there too. They look pretty friendly. Oh, a whole bunch. Wow. Yeah, when I was about 10 years old, my brother was 17 at the time, 16 I think, and he set fire to some cotton in a park and then it ended up burning down a huge swath of the area of the park in a forested area. So no one got hurt, but the fire department did have to come put it out. It's been about 17 years, so I think he's going to avoid any trouble if this does happen to get back there. <laughs> oh well. Just passed a group of uh, school teenagers taking some school photos, I believe. Now we're gonna head down over back to the coast. Hopefully uh, don't fall on this little precarious walkway. Wanna get a closer view of all those concrete structures and the ocean too, or Caspian Sea, excuse me. Whoa, nice. I guess my army training paid off somehow. <laughs> Oh, nice. Look, they got a stone bench out here. With some nice wooden benches. And I believe this used to be a fire pit, maybe. Uh, maybe a long time ago. Oh, but here's some of the structures I was talking about. Ooh, a tire. Nice. Hmm. It's about 82, 83 degrees out here. Pretty warm compared to Baku, which is rainy, cold, and windy. People were warm. Oh, so the people here too. More so uh, than the Turkish or the Greek. Maybe they just they didn't like me. I don't know. That's okay. Well, check this out, guys. I found a little old shrimp. Fortunately, he's no longer with us. But the little Kazakhstan Caspian Sea shrimp. Nice. Rest in peace, buddy. Now here I've discovered some water droplets. Dropping from the cliff face. Can you hear it? Oh, I'm sure you can. What interesting beautiful colors they make. Oh look at this one. It's a whole stream right here. Wow. Dang. Look at all the algae colors it makes. I can hear a steady stream over here too. Let's go check it out. Whoa. Can you hear the calming waves of the Caspian Sea as they hit the rocks? It might be subtle. But this is the better area to me. Less people, more beauty. Check out these cliff faces. Whoa, it's pretty nice, right? Over there, you can see the ships in the distance, either shipping or fishing. Yeah. So besides that cat I saw walking up the cliff face on the other side and that passed away shrimp, ain't much signs of life out here. But this is right next to the city of Octow, so that's okay. Although we can see this little fishing boat out there. Never mind, it's like a mini yacht. I mean, 
These cliff faces are a work of art by itself. Don't you think so? Yeah, I think those holes maybe have birds living in them. Maybe not, who knows? Oh. What a great day. The sounds of the waves really put me at peace. Yeah. I got some more exploring to do before I head back to the hotel room. Thanks for checking in with me, my friends. Take care. Have a good day.